didn't have to open on me. That was the connected ocean. A vast new expanse critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of it. their prey. Well, look, they're showing you their bellies. Do you see their bellies? at the end of the killer whale's body are called tail flukes. This is the animal's engine, helping propel them up to speeds near 30 miles an hour. This fast as some of our speedboats. Now killer whales use the most power and gain the most speed when they're propelling their nearly 10,000 pound bodies out of the water. because of her gentle demeanor. She's also participated in a variety of research projects that have helped her wild counterparts. Now we challenge these animals every day to engage and stimulate their minds. Diet, exercise, and of course play keeps them all in great shape. The whales here at SeaWorld have helped killer whales in the wild by participating in many research studies. One ongoing study monitors the whale's heart rate and breathing 
To understand how marine noise pollution from ship engines and other sources affect wild populations. In another study, scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, took measurements of the killer whales living here, including pregnant whales. By comparing these measurements with drone footage of killer whales in the wild, scientists are able to monitor the wild population's nutritional and reproductive states. Wow! See that? Other research has been done here at SeaWorld on the mother whale's milk composition. Wow. This research will help create an effective model to understand how toxins in the ocean impact wild killer whales and their milk supply. What we learn from the whales in our care every day is actively helping whales in the wild survive. And just by being here today, you've supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world.